Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com and welcome back to the What a Vegan Eats channel in which I share all the delicious food that I eat in daily vlogs. And today I am having some, or I should say right now, it's not like the whole day. <laughs> right now I'm having some really simple mac and cheese. So this was just brown rice pasta, a little bit of olive oil, nutritional yeast and salt. Super basic, but it is so satisfying. And I mentioned a few days ago that I'm still looking for a way to not use the oil in a dish like this. So I'm experimenting, but I had to make something really fast, want something super flavorful. So that's what I'm having right now. And uh, working away on an ebook, going to yoga in a few hours, and then going out to dinner tonight. I cannot wait to bring you along with me. I'm headed out in a little bit for dinner with a special someone who I hope will make an appearance in the video. We'll see. And I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I don't want to ruin my appetite for dinner and I don't really feel like making anything. So I just put some of this protein, vanilla protein powder, rice-based protein powder in some water and shook it up. And it is so satisfying. If you're ever feeling hungry and lazy and just need a little bit of more energy, and more calories, this is, is really good. It hits the spot. Super tasty, and there's a lot of varieties. I really like the Sun Warrior brand, the Growing Naturals brand. There's a few others, but those are the top two that I'm really into, and they're, I think, actually almost the exact same formulation, so either way. Spaghetti and marinara, did you know that was vegan? Stop overthinking this. <laughs> We are going to go to uh, the Oh yeah, that looks pretty amazing. That was my lovely dinner with Michelle from Thug Kitchen at Cafe Gratitude. I didn't want to interrupt our conversation, so I decided not to film anything there, but we had roasted yams, and they didn't have a dipping sauce that was low in histamine, so I just had the yams by themselves, which were flavored with some rosemary. And then I had a bowl which had butternut squash and a few other vegetables in it and had a basil hemp seed pesto. Now the pesto I think had some citrus in it, but it didn't seem to bother me. I seemed really good. Garlic I've been a little sensitive to lately and I had a lot of garlic, but so far so good. And then Michelle had an eggplant sandwich, which I've had before it is awesome, but not something I'm eating right now on the low histamine diet. And then she, what I didn't film is she got the I am cool shake, which is so delicious. I looked over at the dessert and shake list and there are a few things I could have adapted to have there, but I didn't really feel like it and didn't really want to take the risk. So on my way home, I went to the grocery store to get my own ingredients and then I made my own shake just now, which is that carob coconut shake I talked about before and I picked up some organic dates and soaked them for a little bit in the coconut milk blended them up with the carob powder it's just those three ingredients so good so so satisfying and also while I was at the store I got one of my favorite guilty pleasures and I'm like kind of embarrassed to show this it's really not that bad but it's not that good either these kettle real sliced potatoes, these chips are some of my favorite potato chips of all time. They're non GMO, GMO project verified, but they're not organic and organic, non organic potato chips kind of scare me a little bit. They can be pretty full of pesticides. So I don't know. I mean, they don't have MSG, no preservatives. They're made with natural ingredients and kettle does make organic products, so perhaps these are on the low side of them, the scale, but actually when I go to Expo I want to talk with them about this product maybe. I think they're going to be there. I'll just double check, but it's one of the reasons why I love going to the Natural Products Expo, which is coming up in a few weeks, because I want to be able to talk to the brands and just ask them straight up, you know, do you use pesticides? If so, I mean, they must. What kind do you use? How heavily are they sprayed? Like those sort of things and see if I can get some honest answers. But I really try to limit these and, and I didn't realize that potatoes had a lot of uh, pesticides on them until recently. I, you know, I eat mostly in 
organic, so it's not really something that comes up in my mind, especially with potatoes, but every once in a while, potatoes are just kind of my, like, weakness, <laughs> you know, for almost my whole life. I've loved potatoes in all different forms, and I've probably had so many non-organic potatoes, and, and now I, I like making my own, but man, these potato chips are just so good. Anyways, I'm curious what your guilty pleasures are. Do you have any foods that you're trying not to eat anymore because you're learning about the dangers of them for whatever it may be? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I'm going to get back to finishing this ebook. It's taken me a lot longer to do than I thought. <laughs> I took that break with Michelle at Cafe Gratitude and then came home and just vegged out for a little while and it's 2 a.m. and I got to try to finish this by tonight because I promised it would be done yesterday. I don't want it to be more than a day late. <laughs> okay, good night.